Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and this evening we're going to look at the latest on the intense thunderstorms engulfing many parts of the British Isles at the moment. We have yellow warnings in force and you can see by the latest radar charts some areas are seeing a lot of rain and um, a lot of lightning and hail and other thunderstorm associated impacts. So do remember if you enjoyed my videos make sure you like and subscribe and do remember to follow me on Twitter as well, links in the description. So if we do have a look at the latest radar, um, we've been trying to look at these storms, trying to follow them for the last sort of few days and you can see that they have taken off pretty much where we expected within the yellow warning zone of Northern Ireland through central Scotland, southern Scotland into north, um, northern England into the northeast as well. Now these storms actually do um, pretty much follow exactly where we've seen um, or on the models where we've seen the highest cape um, and you can see across central belt in Scotland and to southern Scotland we've got some intense downpours in there um, with some of these cells having quite frequent lightning activity then across northeast England um, and then spreading some thunderstorms in off uh, off the coast now and they've have traveled sort of through northwest areas for Yorkshire and now heading off the coast and we've seen an intense amount of rain um, with some of these storms and that was the primary worry we had looking at these storms it was it was the rain that was going to be the biggest impact and we'll have a look at the rainfall totals in a minute but it has been quite high you can see over northern Ireland with this big mass of heavy rain with some isolated thunderstorms within it um, and again biggest impact will be that very heavy rain some areas will have seen at least 40 or 50 millimeters by the end of the day even more in some locations and even south of the yellow zone we have still seen some quite frequent heavy showers blowing through now because the south um, of wales central england and southern england is further away from the center of the low pressure which is up towards scotland it means the winds are stronger and these showers are moving through at a faster speed whereas further northwards they sort of spiral around the low mo moving a lot slower around the center of the low in terms of um, and, it, and it means rain windows can tot up. Further southwards, we have some quite heavy showers and thunderstorms breaking off along the sort of M4 line through London into Essex. But they are moving through quite quickly along the blustery wind. If we do wind it back a little bit, you can see how they have very quickly moved. If we do uh, run it back and then play it through, you can see they are moving through very quickly. Um, and in the south, you probably won't be under this sort of the red um, colours on these charts, which is um, intense, uh, heavy rain, potentially giving surface flooding for more than maybe 15 minutes or so. Further northwards, though, it's a lot more stationary. And if we do run it back again, um, if we do get it to load up, you can see some of these storms really haven't moved too much over the last few hours. Just run it back, trying to get it to load up. Um, you can see they're not moving particularly quickly with some areas north of Glasgow and Stirling area tossing up a lot of rain um, over the course of the day. If we do run on to have a look at the latest on the last 24 hour precipitation, if we run it all the way to now, you can see where we've had, um, we should get to load, you can see uh, where we've had the intense amount of rain, especially across the north. You can see across Northern Ireland, we've got that massive um, area of heavy rain and storms. We've seen widely 40, 60 millimetres. And then again, across Northern England into Scotland, many areas seeing 40 to 60 millimetres, most areas seeing at least 20 millimetres. And the rain is still falling. The thunderstorms are still taking off and we're still seeing more heavy rain. Even down in the south of England, we're still seeing around 5 to 10 millimetres, maybe a bit more in a few areas. And again, along those lines where we see those thunderstorms do move through, we could see locally maybe 15 to 20 millimetres in half an hour to an hour or so. But they are moving through very quickly, as I said. The only place really in the British Isles that hasn't seen rain over um, the last 24 hours is the far north of Scotland and the far south of Ireland. Elsewhere, everywhere has seen some heavy rain um, and it doesn't look like it's going to be continuing today and tomorrow. If we do run through, have a look at the lightning charts. Now, someone in the comments recommended to have a look at NetWeather for the um, radar. And it's this website. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't go into full screen mode, so I probably will still prefer the weather channel. Um, but it does overlay the lightning strikes. And you can see at the moment, we've got a line of thunderstorms down across the London area. It does look like the lightning strikes have fizzled out. As you can see, colours of the green, purple, pink and blue are more storms that are starting to decay now 
um, and their lightning strikes are more than sort of 20 or 30 minutes old. Ones that's red and orange further in the northeast, those are ones that are taking off right now. And I do suspect as we're heading into the evening, less energy in the atmosphere, less convective um, energy from the sun. I do suspect the storms will start to ramp down a little bit in terms of the lightning activity, but of course the rain is going to be the biggest issue. And you can see across the northeast, all the way up to sort of Scotland and a few strikes in Northern Ireland as well. Some very intense rain, um, and it's going to be continuing throughout the evening, only really fizzling out late this evening, but still a lot of heavy rain around, um, and then it will all take off again tomorrow. So if we do have a look at the weather warnings, you can see at the moment we've got that yellow warning across central Scotland, through Northern Ireland, through North East England, all the way down across the North West um, and North Midlands and parts of Northern Wales as well. It expires at midnight tonight and you can see um, it wasn't hasn't been updated since yesterday's video, so we'll only skim through it briefly and you can see high impact, low likelihood. Surprise potentially in that sort of southern Scotland area, we haven't seen an amber warning being put in force because... Looking at the radar, this has seen a lot of rain falling there, just like it will be continuing. So maybe the Met Office may issue an amber warning if we see that rain continue. Uh, but it's a very difficult picture, um, simply because of the convective nature of these storms. They can pop up in five or ten minutes or so, uh, from just light rain to intense lightning and heavy rain on the radar in about five or ten minutes. So it's it's very difficult to sort of uh, predict it. Um, we just really know where the likelihood of these storms to pop up. So of course, 20, 30 millimetres quite widely, um, in, um, and then potentially for 20, 30 millimetres in a short race of time, and then across 80 or 100 millimetres. And you can see a lot of areas have already seen 50 or 60 millimetres. And by the end of today into the evening, it's quite likely areas those areas will tot up even more rain to 80 or 100 millimetres. The rain warning for Saturday, um, you can see it has been updated this morning. Part of northeast Scotland has been uh, removed from the warning. So looks like things further westwards are um, more prime tomorrow. It starts at 4 a.m. until midnight once again. So pretty much all day. If we have a look at the further details, you can see again high impact, low likelihood, and again 20 to 30 millimetres in a short space of time, and then potentially 50 to 70 millimetres across the whole day. So on top of today's rain could be again more issues around with some flooding especially sort of surface road flooding um where we've drains are not able to cope with the amount of water we've seen um so really do keep an eye out today and tomorrow um as they kill stood stood uh, could still be some significant impacts um even tomorrow if you don't see storms even the storms today just extra rain tomorrow could overwhelm the system so just really need to keep an eye on that and remember don't, don't drive through flood water and do try and stay indoors when there, when there is lightning strikes around. So just make sure you do take precautions if you, in, if you are in the yellow warning. Elsewhere still will be showers around but just less likely to be um, as heavy with lightning. So if we do go to Meteo Seal and have a look at the Cape chart. So we're looking at the WRF at the moment. And you can see as we head towards sort of 4pm which is... 4 or 5 p.m., which is where I'm recording this now, you can see where the highest cape is. You can see the area across London through sort of Reading into Essex, and we're seeing, of course, storms take off there. Further northwards and eastwards, where those storms are coming off the coast, we've got some decent cape there. And then, of course, across southern Scotland and northeast England, we've got high cape, and that's where we're seeing some of the biggest storms right as as I speak, and then across, across Northern Ireland. So you can see the storms are following where this cape is um, because we've got a lot of instability around the big storms are going to form in the Cape. The Cape is the limiting factor in this sort of scenario, especially further northwards. Further southwards, there's less instability in terms of shower activity. So where we do have that shower activity going through um, sort of Bristol all the way across Essex, and we have Cape, that's where we've seen storms take off. But there's still some Cape in the Midlands and North Midlands into northeast East Anglia area. So even though there are showers not really taking off at the moment, we still could see some over the coming hours um, start to take off. So do keep an eye on that, even though the radar showing, um, as I'm recording this video, not too much happening. The Cape does eventually decay tonight, and you can still see there is some decent Cape around, around even 8 or 9 p.m. tonight um, over Scotland. So those areas could see some troubling amount of rain. Um, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. But eventually Cape will dissipate the most areas and there will still still be uh, will still be some rain around, some bands of rain, some heavy rain, of course. But I don't suspect this sort of torrential thundery rain we've seen at times today. As we head through tomorrow, Cape does pick up once again in North Scotland. Um, again, 
primarily focused on the west. You can see across eastern, northeastern Scotland, less Cape, but it's further westwards. We're seeing more Cape across Northern Ireland as well. And then across into the Midlands and even central southern England, we could see some significant Cape. Um, we have to keep an eye on it. That does um, aid development of storms as well as a sort of a band of uh, extra energy it does move through through the evening, uh, through the afternoon and evening. And then as we head through Sunday, things start to quiet down a little bit, still some cape around, but really primarily over Scotland and Southern Ireland, where we could see more shower activity. Um, before, by Monday, things are, are starting to look a little bit uh, less active with very limited cape around. And so you do suspect things are starting to ramp down a little bit. So it does look like very uh, still some disruption around uh, and some very impactful weather from the rain um, and storms over the next few days. So if we do run through, to around 5 p.m. at the moment. You can see it is well reflected on um, the models, um, what we're seeing in the library with the heaviest rain across central southern Scotland and northeastern areas, across Ireland um, and Northern Ireland, and then of course down to central southern England, that band of heavy rain moving through as well. As we head through tonight, you can see potentially a bit of a weather front moving through um, across Wales um, and northwest areas into northeastern areas, and then the more storm and more storms take off again, especially across central, western Scotland, all the way across northern England. Again, it does look like tomorrow um, we'll be favouring western areas, um, and then again, eastern areas still could see some showers, but just less likely and um, lower intensity. And then by Saturday night, really slowly fizzling away once again. And still showers overnight, of course, but less likely to be as heavy and thundery. And then through Sunday, still showers around in Scotland and sort of western areas, but generally a little bit less in intensity. But still could be some disruption, adding on to the um, quite for, quite high 48-hour rainfall totals we'll have seen through Friday um, and Saturday. And then as we head through Monday, things starting to dry out a little bit. But of course, we're in an unsettled pattern with low pressure around. So there's always going to be some rain around, but just not quite as heavy. If we do run through the icon run, see what that is showing. We can see at around 6pm tonight, you can see that, that band of rain across central southern England, the heaviest rain across Northern Ireland, through Western Ireland, and of course, Scotland as well. You can see it very slowly dissipates through the evening, clearing these showers most areas by around uh, midnight to 3 a.m. And then you see that band of rain uh, rain and sort of convective showers moving in through the Irish Sea into Wales and southwest. And we'll have to see what happens with that, as that's more likely to bring more persistent and widespread rain. That does move through in the uh, sort of through mid morning into the early afternoon, and there could be some convective activity within that as we see Cape pick up. So we have to keep an eye on that. And then, of course, across Northern Scotland in the yellow warning zone, more heavy rain breaking out. Through Sunday afternoon again, more showers, but less likely to be heavy. Maybe over Northern Ireland and North um, East England, uh, Northwest England as well. Maybe into Southern Scotland, and we'll just have to keep an eye on how that does develop and see if any warnings are warranted. And then as we head into Monday, potentially for some more persistent rain across the south coast. So we see a bit of a weather front move through. But generally, areas are looking a little bit drier. But of course, still showers around as we still have low pressure influencing us. Um, and then um, oh, it does look like the icon run does move back to the Thursday run. So we can only see up to Monday afternoon, but that's probably the mo only the uh, well, that's probably the most significant thing at the moment. But but by Monday afternoon, it does look like things are starting to settle down a little bit. But of course, still a lot of showers j around, just maybe not the torrential sort of thundery rain we've seen. So if we do look at seventy uh, at seventy five hours out, you can see where we're going to see the heaviest rain. Doesn't look quite as intense here as we're seeing the radar at the moment. I do suspect it's downplaying it a little bit because, of course, it's convective nature of these storms. Um, where we're seeing in sort of central southern Scotland, it's only showing 30 millimetres or so. And we've already seen 40 or 50 millimetres um, today. So, again, a little bit off from the icon precipitation accumulations. But this will be mainly from the frontal rain. So, potentially, uh, of course, further westwards is going to be primed for that. And then, of course, the convective rain will add on to that. If we finally have a look at the UK Met Office run, of course, the model used for uh, the Met Office warnings, uh, again, it's probably one of the best models we do look at. And you can see, if we do head towards 5pm this evening, what we're looking at at the moment, you see that band of rain across central southern England, and then you see the heaviest rain across northern Scotland, um, down into central southern Scotland, and northern England, and of course, Ireland and Northern Ireland as well. As we're through this evening, showers dissipate generally um, sort of in central southern England through Wales. Of course, still a few showers around this evening, but less uh, less frequent and less intense. 
and all showers start to dissipate overnight tonight. But of course, over Scotland, still a few coming in off the easterly wind. And then we see that weather band, um, and weather front move through through Wales and southwestern areas and spreads eastwards through the day, sort of breaking up, then allowing heavy showers to break out within it. And we are uh, interesting to see um, here by around sort of lunchtime. Um, or late morning, we're seeing some very heavy rain um, break out across northwestern areas and very heavy showers breaking off quite widely across England and Wales. And nothing really happening over Scotland until really into the afternoon when we start to see those convective showers take off again, especially in northern England, northern Ireland, um, and again, eastern areas of sort of northeast England and Wales, uh, and sorry, and Scotland, less uh, likely. And that's why it was taken off the yellow warning. So still looking quite impactful um, through tomorrow as well. And by this UK Met Office run, we could be seeing some even heavier rain in the south tomorrow, which we'll really have to keep an eye on um, as they're not including the yellow warning zone. So less people will be sort of ready um, and um, sort of expecting it. So as we move through into Saturday night, you see showers eventually dissipating away, but still in, uh, some coming into western areas, packing off the sort of westerly wind, as we do have that low just sitting over Scotland. And then by Monday, still just convective showers around, but less likely to be thundery. But of course, this time of year, with the strong sunshine um, and quite warm temperatures, there could always be a few thunderstorms taking off. And then by Tuesday, things starting to die down, but still a few showers around, of course. So it does look like there's going to be a lot of impact weather over the next um, few hours and few days. So just make sure you do stay tuned to the warnings, keep an eye on the radar, and make sure you do stay safe out there. And don't do anything stupid in any lightning strikes um, and thunderstorms. Don't do anything. Don't drive through flood water and just, yeah, keep safe. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again for another video soon.